It, well, from the roads in the capital city to the sites in outer space, you gotta love these after a long wait. The first images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope are now out. Yeah, and they have set off a round of reactions across social media and right here at KCRA. <laughs> here to talk to us about the significance of the images is Amber Schrott. She's a scientist on the project. Amber, good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Okay, so we're getting this full first color look at these images from the telescope. Talk about what we're seeing. Let's be more specific. Yeah, so these first images are really just a first glimpse at what we're going to be able to do with this telescope. We've seen now the deepest view of the universe we ever have with this this couple this uh, JC New Deep Field. Uh, here we're seeing thousands of galaxies uh, in this beautiful part of space. Each dot of light here just about that you see is an individual galaxy itself with hundreds of billions of stars. So the new views that we're getting are really just spectacular. Now, the Webb is an infrared telescope from what we understand. What is that exactly? How does it differ from telescopes like, say, the Hubble, which a lot of folks have heard about? Right, so the Hubble Space Telescope basically sees the universe in optical light or visible light like your eyes see. JWST is designed as an infrared telescope. It sees the universe in light that is a little bit more red than what your eyes can see. And what this allows us to do is to peer through some of the clouds of dust like the ones in the Carina Nebula to see brand new stars being formed and even baby planet systems. So infrared light really gives us a new kind of power, a new new way to look at the universe that's going to really fundamentally change the way we understand how the universe works. All right, so Amber, we were talking about this all day yesterday. It was all the talk, <laughs> again, <laughs> on social media here at KCRA, and I'm sure a lot of households. I really want you to kind of explain to folks how we're able to see what we're seeing, because I understand that we're actually looking at this in the past, right? Right. Uh, one of the great things about telescopes, you know, us astronomers are fond of saying telescopes are time machines, uh, and, but that's literally true. And the reason for that is just the simple fact that light takes time to travel. And so as we look at things that are far away, the light from those objects takes time to travel through space and get to our telescopes. And so, for example, some of these galaxies in the deep field, we're looking at them as they were 13.1 billion wow. years into the past. Wow. And so we're we're able to literally see into the past to help get a better understanding of how galaxies got their start, which of course ultimately leads us more to understanding how our own solar system and ultimately our planets and ultimately us got started. Of course, you always want to see what's next. So through all of these observations, what are you hoping to find in future observations? The great thing about these first five images is it really is just the start. So this was only about five days worth of time on the telescope. And so you can imagine five days from now, we're gonna have a whole other batch of images and beautiful data to share with the world. And we already have the first year of images or of observations planned out with this telescope. And so I think it's gonna be an extremely exciting year for astronomy. I can't wait to find out what we learn. This is so exciting and I appreciate you so much. We both appreciate you being here and uh, sharing your excitement. And the other thing too, Amber, I really hope that it encourages young people to really go into yeah. uh, STEM classes and courses and perhaps to become an astronomer. <laughs> Absolutely. That's one of the great things about these images. They're just so inspirational for all of us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Amber. Thanks.